Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. At present, most of the Indian Navy warship uses the marine gas turbine engines from Ukraine's Zoria as the primary source of propulsion. These warships include V-class missile corvettes, surviving Rajput class of destroyers, Delhi class of destroyers, Talwar class frigates, and the newly commissioned Vishakhapatnam class of destroyers. Four more Talwar class frigates of Russian design are under construction at shipyards in Russia and Goa will also use the engines from Zoria facility. To power all these warships, Indian Navy needs more than 130 marine gas turbine engines and few spare turbines. Besides, Navy is also going to face problem in overhauling or regular maintenance of these engines. Usually, a gas turbine engine is overhauled after running for close to 30,000 hours. Apart from Ukraine engine, Indian Navy heavily relies on General Electric GLM 2500 marine gas turbine engines. The engine is integrated with indigenous aircraft carrier INS Vikrant, three Shavali class of frigates and seven stealth frigates which is being built under project 17A. Now Indian Navy is expediting the development of indigenous marine gas turbine engine. As per the reports from Economic Times, Bharat Heavy Electricals Limited and Bharat Forge are among the companies that have been individually consulted for developing and supplying the marine gas turbine engine suited for Indian Navy's need. Some inputs have also been given by Indian Navy to BHL to aid the development of equipment and spares. Considering the requirement of marine gas turbine engine for Indian Navy, the Bharat Forge has acquired major stake in Ukrainian engine firm. On 7th December 2023, Bharat Forge has informed about the acquisition of 51% stake in Zoria Masperate India Private Limited or in short ZMI. This acquisition was, was done by Kalyani Strategic Systems Limited. The firm ZMI is a private limited company which is engaged in business of development of indigenous capabilities for build UPS and repair and overhaul of all types of gas turbine engine. Chadamai is a pre-revenue company incorporated on August 12, 2022 and hence it has no turnover since inception. However, the objective of this equation made by Kalyani Strategic Systems Limited is to create indigenous capabilities for design, manufacturing, maintenance, repair and overhaul including spare support for all types of gas turbine engines. The equation was reported to be complete by December 31st, 2023. This is definitely a very good news for Indian Navy warship fleet which is heavily dependent on Ukrainian engines. Besides, it will also help in localizing the production, maintenance and overhaul of engine in the country itself. This is not the first time that a marine gas turbine engine development is being undertaken in the country. Nearly 15 years ago, in July 2008, DRDO has tested a 12 megawatt marine gas turbine engine. This engine was installed onto a marine gas turbine testbed at Indian Navy facility in Vishakhapatnam. The engine has been tested to its potential of 12 megawatt at ISA SL35 degree condition, which is the requirement of Indian Navy for propelling the SNF or Rajput class of ships. The engine was developed using the core of Kaveri engine. The base frame for this was developed by LNT. GTRE has added the low pressure compressor and turbine as a gas generator and designed a free power turbine to generate shaft power for marine application. The engine has been named as Kaveri Marine Gas Turbine or KMGT. Ironically, even after 15 years of demonstrating the marine engine capability, India has not been able to feed its production-ready marine engine 
which could power the Indian Navy warships. The government back then did not show confidence on Kaveri's marine engine and preferred to go for completely imported ones. While a 12 megawatt Kaveri marine gas turbine engine may not be sufficient to power bigger warships, but it can still power smaller vessels which are having displacement of around 2500 tons. In March 2023, the Indian Navy Chief Admiral R. Hari Kumar has also said to the Hindu that the Navy had got a sanction for the design and development of a diesel engine for maritime purposes and it is expected to be ready in four years. Navy is also working on making gas turbine generators and subsequently gas turbines. As per Navy Chief, we don't make diesel engines of the requisite maritime specifications. We have been making it earlier, but it was under license. Now we have taken up a case for making a diesel engine of requisite capacity designed and developed in India that has already been sanctioned and we hope it will materialize in about four years. The Navy chief has earlier pledged that Navy would be self-reliant by 2047 and the development of a marine gas turbine engine is a giant step towards the same. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.